Next news out of England, United Kingdom, Muslim population of England smashes 3 million mark for first time ever, figures reveal. So yeah, the Muslim pop population in England has hit over the 3 million mark in 2019. Some parts of London are now actually around 50% Islamic, um, according to uh, statistics of where people live within London. In London overall, uh, it looks like there are 14.2% Muslims living in the capital's population. Uh, and that actually takes... Uh, the Muslim population up into the top three uh, of England's religious makeups. So, Guys, be careful uh, top, not touching the microphone. Okay, go ahead. Topping number one is Christian. Number two is people who hold no religion. Number three are Muslims. Okay. So, is this is this should we be alarmed? Should we not be alarmed? Is this gonna? Is the people that are like running around pulling out their hair are they f fear mongering or they too shouldn't? Or is it, or or is it considered legitimate? What do you guys think? I think that's fear mongering, and in in my opinion, just because uh, a religion is growing doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. And I think that the reason mm. why I'm calling it fear mongering mm. for people getting upset over this specific statistic is they they aren't looking at statistics of. Uh, crime. They aren't looking at statistics of, of aggravated crimes, especially, or anything of that nature in association to what religion anyone belongs to. Um, so why why is this alarming? I find it alarming. I find the growth of why? any religion al alarming. I mean, these people are going to vote. And well, here's well, the deal, though. Yeah, on okay. that note, I mean, just to really quickly add something to this discussion, I was looking this some information up about this, and in 2018, The Guardian had an article where they surveyed British Muslims, and the British Muslims said they placed a very high importance on being British. Yes. So, on the one hand, you have these people who are integrating, and they think it's important to be British, and they find it of value, and it's important to them. And but then, on the other hand, you had statistics like um, half about of them think half how of them, many half of them think exactly. that gay people. Yeah, th I knew what you're going to say. That homosexuality ha should be illegal. Illegal, not yeah. just it's not just right, bad. But we're also starting to see a lot of English Muslims turning away from traditional Islamic uh, cultural beliefs, such as that. So. We're, we're seeing a little bit of a turnaround here, and even in this article, um, and this is not me using this as any argument point or anything, but they do touch on what Rivka was saying, that a lot of the Muslims are proud to be British. Um, and so this isn't one of those uh, situations where they're not acclimating to the culture around them. Uh, they are. So right. I think that it's great. I think it's great that Muslims are getting out of there and, and this this happened this boom happened in 2015 okay when uh there was a huge push for people leaving their country uh to a safer place so now they get to be around other people right and and islam is changing for them and i think that you know eventually more people like like armin has been saying all along if you want to end islam uh, befriend Muslims, right? Um, I think that that is kind of what's going on here. Islam and Britain might not be what Islam was traditionally. I mean, Islam will always that... be a barbaric, ancient, you know, violence, anti-woman, anti-science, anti-gay religion. You can't change that. You can't change that out of Islam. Unless you want to remove Hadith and the Quran from Islam, which is not... If you, and if you do that, then it's not Islam. So I don't think Islam will ever change to a religion that should be tolerated. But when I say that, when I say befriend Muslims, right? Because to convince them out of Islam, not to convince them to a different kind of Islam, right? In fact, I think convincing Muslims to a different kind of Islam is more dangerous because you're you're making ex. Islam lasts longer. You're making excuses for Islam to last longer, right? But and again, just because when I say when I when I'm alarmed about the rise of Islam anywhere, right? Anywhere, 
that doesn't mean I'm saying we should mistreat Muslims, right? In fact, we should be, I'm alarmed, so we should befriend Muslims even more so we could fight the rise of Islam faster, right? So I'm not, like, when I'm alarmed, I'm not like one of those alt-right people like, oh, Islam is rising, so let's go be, be a-holes to Muslims. No, Islam is rising, this is dangerous, so let's befriend more Muslims so we could convince more Muslims out of Islam, right? So that's right. Okay, but, but but I am alarmed. Like I, even if even if a lot of them are like being influenced. But so here's the thing: if you have a group of people within a certain ideology that let's say let's say, let's say not fifty percent, right? Let's say the average um, po population of the country, twenty per ten percent of them think being gay is a crime, right? And you have a certain subgroup of the population that 40% of that subgroup, under the influence of that idea, think being gay should be a crime. Obviously, the rise, even if it's less than half, even if the majority of them don't think that, it's obvious that that rise of that ideology is not good for, for example, gay people in that country, right? Or for women, or for democracy, or for, you know, a lot of other enlightenment values, right? That have, that... United, K United K Kingdom was supposed to be the, mm, you know, source of. United Kingdom and France are the mother and father of Enlightenment values. Yet, they are betraying it faster than most other countries. At least, I mean, United Kingdom is. France is still holding strong. You but, know, but there's something to be said, though, about what you're saying and then also what Ali's saying. Because in this report from The Sun, they're saying one-third of this large population of Muslims in the UK kids. are under 16. Yep. So it's a potentiality that because they are growing up in um, a more open society, in a more diverse society, that they themselves will be influenced by that. That's a potential. But I do understand what you're saying too, because when I was looking at some of these statistics from that Guardian article that I looked up in reference to this, they were saying that, you know, um, one third of Muslim men or one third of Muslim women believe that wives should submit to their husbands and that 38% of Muslim men said it was acceptable for British Muslims to have more than one wife. And we're already seeing some of the Sharia courts in the family court in England. So how do you balance your diversity and your acceptance with some of these issues of intolerance or trying to propagate a religious law over secular laws for family issues? You know, those things are, that's the difficulty, I think. Well, you, you, right. you, and, you stand your ground, you raise the alarm. That's how you fight these things, right? Well, here's, here's the deal. No, I, I, I completely disagree with you. I don't think that saying, you know, you are wrong in your belief and, and you're, you're isolating yourself and them, um, that's not you know, how from I fight any Islam, sort of though. change whatsoever. What's that? I do fight Islam by befriending Muslims, right? Just because, right, okay, just because I'm saying that we should be alarmed and we should raise, you know, and we should fight Islam, that doesn't at all suggest any mistreatment or... I'm not, I'm not yeah. suggesting that you're saying that there's any okay. mistreatment. Okay. What I'm saying is to, to hold the expectation that someone just dropped their belief because it's wrong and we expect all Muslims to do this. But that's, that's not what uh, I said either. Okay. But also another point to bring up here about all of this is I think that a lot of the alarmists, the people who are freaking out about there's going to be a rise in, you know, all these problems that come with Islamic societies, uh, they're, they're seeing this as Islam is spreading throughout London, right? They're seeing that, or England even as well. Uh, they're seeing as it's spreading, and that's not the case. Uh, this this all started, the population boom came because people are moving into England. So it's not like it's it's spreading and growing, it's just relocating. Wait, that's relocating from outside? Yes. Well, that's even worse. How so? Well, because... If it's, I mean, if you have children there and they're just growing and they have not seen nothing other than United Kingdom, 
you have easier chance to get to them than getting people that will grow that grew up in Pakistan or other places to just keep coming in. That's a one that's third a, of, that, the, of the that's a that's a harder demographic to reach out to. But but again, even you know, I, I, I do follow a lot of people that exaggerate the threat and they're not helping anybody, right? But even if it's like let's say the mo let's say Islam is two percent of a country, right? And it's going from two percent to three percent. It's still very low, but that's a problem. Your the disease of Islam increased. Even if it's going for for me, even if it goes from two percent to three percent to three percent, only three percent. If it was two percent, and this year is now three percent, I would raise the alarm on that. Okay, that's already a huge no-no to me. Okay, and again, the things that you're saying will not happen. That you know, your predictions, Ali, will come true only if we fight back. Like these whole, like we feel like, oh look, these a lot of these young Muslims are leaving Islam, or they're becoming more. Um, accepting of enlightenment ideas well how does that happen because of activists right because of the people that were like holy crap we need to fix this right so i think raising the alarm is the way that you get the answers that you're that you are predicting ali do you know what i mean like well i think that you and i have two different definitions of what raising the alarm means here because we're t I'm, I'm talking about alarmists people who are going off the and making these videos about how the growth of Islam in England right now means that we're going to have more rape and it means that we're going to have more murder and it means that we're going to have more uh, people who are not assimilating to the culture. We're going to have this and that. Those to me are alarmists. If, if you're just saying that you're concerned about the growth of Islam, to me you're not an alarmist. So well, I consider myself that, an alarmist a, and I'm rightfully alarmed and it's not, it's not just crime rates. These people will vote. And with their vote, they, their values are going to be reflected in their votes. And but what you're concentrating on is their values aren't changing at all. You're thinking their values aren't changing. And what I'm saying is their values are changing. Yeah, the values are changing because of people like me who are raising the alarm and going after them and trying to change their these kids' up these children's opinions. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I think that, and specifically as listed in the article, they're changing because they enjoy Britain. They enjoy the people they're meeting there. They're yeah, because people, the, because the people, society around them. Because people are reaching out to them and talking to them and they're enjoying the company of non-Muslims and stuff like that. So this is a good thing yes. and we should more of that should happen. But the, another thing is that in UK, less of that is happening compared. So, for example, I'm actually more worried about this in the United Kingdom than if this number was increasing in Canada or United States. Because if, I've been to London. And these the Muslims are completely separated from like not hashtag not all, but they have their own schools, they have their own mosques, they have their own neighborhoods, so they could completely you know grow in these bubbles without being a lot of them could grow in these bubbles without being exposed to the rest of the society, right? So I want to raise the alarm. I want like secularists and you know non-Muslims and everybody to just go in. You know one thing I like about like London is Hyde Park where the speaker's corner, right? At least there Muslims are coming out and they're challenging people to debate. We need more of that, right? But a lot of the sure. Muslims are not- Challenging sure. to debate is not saying you're wrong and you know your oh, beliefs yeah. are wrong and there's this challenge people to debate That's is the, very is definition the exact of debate point is, of making no, them Ali, start to change their mind. Ali, the very definition of debate is telling people that they're wrong. Well, I think that <laughs> your point about but to, to, to segue back or to work way, way back, your point about the um, segregation of particular Muslim groups, especially when they're um, immigrants, um, is really a valid point because they tend to, refugees in general, tend to be more assimilated in the United States than in places like that. And I think Armin's point can be valid if the only options that these immigrants or refugees have to help them assimilate, to learn English, to do anything is only the mosque or is only the Islamic school. Mm -hmm. I, th I think what's happening is that a lot of the people that are raising alarm, they don't have a problem with the idea. They have a problem with like these brown people. Okay. And a lot that's of what I was just talking so, about. Those yeah, are the alarmists. But I am an alarmist as well. 
But I'm not alarmed about the people, I'm alarmed about the idea, the raising of the idea. The difference between people like me and the people that are against the people themselves is that I, 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 I see these people as capable of changing their ideas. So the idea is spreading, but the, I don't care about the people, the number of people, because these people are able to change their opinions. For me, the spread of the idea, which is spreading, is dangerous, and each one of these individuals are capable of changing their opinions. I raise the alarm, I go after the idea by celebrating the people, okay? The difference well, again, between, we're not sure if it's spreading because we it just is have spreading. proof that it's relocating. No, no, it is, well, it is relocating from outside into the UK. You, the nature right. of you, like, if even by these small numbers, you have, if you go to London, you look at London today, I've been to London when I was, you know, a child, and I've been to London now. It is not the same city, okay? Every, everything has changed. I'm going to agree with that. I'm going to agree with that. Right, so... I've experienced that as well. Right, so, I mean... France as well. Yeah, so, yeah, I mean, these these things are happening. You can't. We can't deny that. But, again, I'm not giving up on the people. I think we could go after the idea by reaching out to the people. But I think a lot of people had some bad, ex like the people that are, a lot of the alt-right people that are raised the alarm, these, th those people have given, have given, left a bad taste for people, uh, you know, and they got most of the attention, right? The racists and the bigots and the xenophobes, they got most of the attention. So when people, when other people want to raise the alarm and they're not against the people and they're, they're just against the idea, this raising, this raising of the alarm by people like me reminds uh, you, Ali, of those alt-right people, right? I'm, I'm not saying you're saying I'm alt-right or anything like that, but it just sound, it just no. seems too close to that. And because of that bad experience with that, because here's the thing, here I will tell you something else. If United Kingdom, if, this, if the data came out, the United Kingdom was getting more Christian, I would also raise the alarm, all right? I would be like, oh, right. like this is a going. A step, this is going backwards. Like we're going backwards, people. That would also be for me a, a, a cause to raise the alarm. Okay. Anyways, I think I made that. And 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 just about about the point you made about debates, and yeah. this has been said in the in the main chat as well. A debate. You should never go into a debate thinking I'm right and you're wrong. I mean, the whole point about a debate is to have a conversation about an idea. So. Actually, um, no. uh, on which side you stand on and they stand on the other. But if you go on saying, I'm right, I'm right, then no matter what they throw at you, you're always going to be right, right? But so I think we should things. have dates. We should be open to other people's ideas. Um, yeah, but, I don't know. We can but, but every time you make, a, you make an argument for your position, you are claiming that you're right and they're wrong. And that's a very... Not that's, really. It's just that's, that's the belief you hold at the moment. That's the definition. <laughs> the definition of holding a belief is that you think you're right. That's the definition of holding okay. a belief. Okay, but sorry. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the top comment is by Dene, D, D, I don't know how to read this. She or he is saying, don't really care what religion is growing in the UK. I want all of them gone, all religions. Yeah, I mean, the fact is that a religion is growing in the UK. It doesn't matter what religion. A religion is, I mean, it does matter because Islam is the worst. But any other religion growing would also be a cause for alarm. But and I can second that just by what's happening in the United States. I mean, we always were religious, but the religiosity here is increasing, particularly where I live. And it's becoming in codified into law. It's becoming discussed um, as if somehow it gets special deference. So, yeah, I mean, religion in and of itself, to me, is alarming when you have, you know, religious people but spreading it, in a society by the way if you guys want to uh, check out i actually done this i went and debated uh, muslims in london just search for armin navabi speakers corner i forgot on what channel i put this on i think i put it on secular jihadists yeah so you could go check out like me actually attempting to do this right so if you look at the way i do it it's very friendly i'm listening to other person's position i'm making my points the whole the whole exchange is very respectful, but both of both me and the Muslim maintain that we hold the right position, and the other person is holding the wrong position. That's why we're debating to convince each other, but we're open to be we're open to change our opinions. I think, um, 
But while we haven't changed our opinions yet, we think we're right and the other person is wrong. That's all I'm saying. Anyways, let's... Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.